what you want to do in the future? Yes. Okay. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a robotics engineer to help people like with everyday life. We had to pick what we were going to do, and we picked a carousel. These four pieces go in a circle. You can slow it down with this control. For our pellet, pellet chart. Okay. Awesome. What is, what is an owl pellet? It's what an owl can't digest like. It can't digest feathers. I think it was really cool because I wanted to figure out what owls eat. I had a good experience with school and it kind of just stuck with me. And the teachers that made a difference, who stayed on me and made sure my parents knew what I was up to. And, you know, it would get on my nerves at times. But now when I look back, I'm like, they really had my best interest. They saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself at that point. But I just learned like, over the years that my way of learning doesn't always work for everybody. It's just good to see myself grow so that I can be a better teacher to them and really take a more creative approach to learning. Like, how would I want to learn this if I was seven? We do a lot of stuff um, together as a group. It t makes them feel like they own it and that this is their classroom, this is their learning, so you need to have your input just as much as I have my input. We are a STEAM school. Uh, what that means is we're really intentional about integrating science, technology, engineering, arts, and that into the normal disciplines uh, throughout the instructional day. We have a robotics club, we have a learning labs, we also have uh, STEM scouts in the after school community school programs. So basically we have a lot of different mediums and different variety of ways that we can engage the kids. We're very fortunate to, to be a one-to-one -one technology school. What that looks like is um, every third grader, fourth grader, and fifth grader uh, are afforded the opportunity to use a MacBook Pro, to use a laptop uh, for instruction. And it's a tool, we tell them it is a tool for learning. We have our kindergartners, first and second graders. Uh, we have about eight to 10 laptops per classroom that enhance their learning as well. So those are great opportunities for our kiddos here just to meet them where they are, to make sure they're engaged, and to keep them focused around our theme. Families can come in here and we get out in the, in the, the community and people can see what we do. So the different projects, I think the kids like being able to have the hands-on um, experiences um, of actually building something and making something. We have the Lego robotics, the students build them and then they program them to move. Um, and we're probably one of the only elementaries that do that. So the kids are really excited about that. They really enjoy getting into that. We write the code by dragging the icon on the computer. There is a gear underneath, and this powers the gear, so it moves. And we're discussing the energy pyramids and what animals get their nutrients and food from. It's kind of a cycle of how an animal eats another animal to survive. The rocket was built by me because we were studying force and motion. We would launch it with Alka-Seltzer and water. We would put it in the, the camera lens holder and the force, how much force, since it's bubbling inside, it would push off and this would pop off and it would go up. When I was in school, our teachers used to tell us nobody will ever carry a calculator around in their hand. Well, we all do every day. So I think the more kids can use technology to learn, the better off they're going to be. We have extra personnel that's available. We have extra technology. So that's, that's been a blessing. We've really been able to use that to expand what we have in this building to support the students. In the design lab, I got a class set of iPads. It was phenomenal because when I asked kids to write on paper with pencil, it was kind of like, eh, and they'd sit there and just kind of do the work, maybe give me one sentence. But if I gave them something on Google Docs through an iPad, I would get paragraphs from students that would never write before. Yeah, we do a lot of after school activities where we try and bring the parents in. We have family engineering night, we do expo nights, we have concerts. There's a lot that goes on after school and being a community school, we offer dinner um, to the families and the students free of charge so that they can all come in, sit down together and have discussions, eat at a table. You know, sometimes families just don't have that time and here at Green we can do that. My wife's like, it's great school, it's great school. And then when I get in and start seeing all the stuff, all the technology, and I'm like, wow, I like this. I, I wish there was schools like this when I was growing up. I like the diversity uh, amongst the, the staff, the, the students. Um, I think that's good for my kids to experience that. My, well, now six-year-old David, he, uh, 
He said to me one day he wanted to grow up and be a and be an engineer. Um, I, you know, I mean, I don't think I would have heard that had you know had he been at another school. There's been a transformation. William left second grade shy. He had very little confidence in himself. His third grade teacher uh, basically took him under her wing and just worked with him. And he has blossomed since he's been a green. From just nine months of being in the program here, his confidence level is so high that he is now taking on a leadership role in the classroom and in other areas. At Green here, we focus on teaching our kids the habits of mind, which are innovation, problem solving, and collaboration. We want to create a whole body of leaders. Uh, in order to do that, we have to use the whole community. We have a significant ELL population here, uh, so we have a lot of diversity here, which is a great thing, so it, it allows us the opportunity to um, expose our students to other cultures. And so that, in turn, creates leaders that are really culturally competent. Our motto this year is one community focused around one vision for every student. We want to make sure that we're intentional with meeting the needs of every student. In, in being in an in a inner city school, you can either go this way, you can go this way. And I tell my kids all the time, you can make it. I'm glad this is the choice that I, and teaching is the choice I chose. So I wouldn't want to do anything else. Hi, my name is Tiffany Colson. My name is Danielle Harrison. Sean Emmer. Christina Stansberry. My name is Dexter Murphy. I am an innovator. I'm a motivator. I'm a father, a coach. I am a mother. I'm a part of the community. And I'm a part of the community. I'm a part of the community. At Green Magnet Academy. And I'm part of the community at Green Magnet Academy.